Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Subnautica Below Zero video. And today we're actually going to explore a little bit rather than do what I had been planning last video. Because there's a few things that I'm missing that I actually really need at this point, And that is the high capacity tank, the high capacity O2 tank. And possibly the Ultra High Capacity. I don't think we'll be getting the Ultra one this video. Considering I found two of them at the Pirate's last known location, we might go back there and try, but for right now, we are going to be looking for the basic one, basic high, pa high capacity one. And it is in the twi Twisty Bridges, I believe is what people call it, which is the place we're in. There's multiple bases here with multiple... Schematics, I want to say. We're just going to be, you know, searching around, looking for it. Should find it pretty easily. That could even be here. Expected to go this fast, so we'll go uh, find the ultra. New blueprint synthesized. We may actually end up in the cup in the copper mine at the end of this. I actually genuinely didn't think it would go this fast. I looked up where it could be found, and I didn't think I would be that close to um, silver, glass, and titanium. Super easy to get. Let's go build it. titanium left over from my recent crafting escapades. Could be enough. I'm searching for the last piece for the ultra high. And then we will go to the copa mines. I have to kill that one too, aren't I? Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. Let's go find the Ultra. Once we do that, we're going to go into the Copa Mines. We're going to... We don't need the Copa Mines, do we? Anymore, do we? We found five diamonds last time in just a random crevice. Uh, never mind. We have to go find spiraling coral. What are you called? Spiral plant clipping. That's what we need to go find. Left over here. 
so over dramatic. Then I believe I left Beacon. Beacon 3 is where we found the little jellyfish garden creature thing. Just loading around, so it should be around that way over, over there. It's kind of weird that we haven't found a Leviathan just yet. I was expecting to see a bit more. wonder if they dropped the amount that spawned in number two. Below zero. Lights on. Uh, ultra high. Come on. You know you want to pop up. You are nothing. We are just at the edge where we can go. 460 meters. Come on, be good to me. We can't go down there. Just at the edge. Stop there. I think that's for something later. there. That's what I thought. How about you can scan? No. Nope. Guess there's not down here. Nickel. Now that is important. Can we find some more? Two. That'd be the perfect amount. This is usually how much is recipes take. It's just two of the metal. You are not nickel, you are normal. Limestone. You are gold. Could you be it? Oh, you are. Wonderful. Let's head on out. Continue our search for the Ultra High. Squeeze through. Just barely. mod, afterburner, or booster, afterburner. What did you just steal? Give that back. Rude. Oh, more nickel. What are you? 
grip. Grappling arm. We can get our scanner on it. Grappling armor? Yeah, we don't. Okay, we can just ignore that then. Oh, we went down there. Burner or horsepower? Horsepower. This looks like a new area. Are you? You are nothing. Let's go back to our sea truck. It's not 300 meters deep, so we can come down here on that. Looks like an interest to somewhere. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I don't think I should be down here. I'm almost positive that I saw when I was looking at well, you know, watching another YouTuber do this. He came down here for the mission later, so I'm going to leave it be. So I don't end up breaking something. That I shouldn't break. Just because I scanned it too early. Let's continue on searching for the... Ultra high. Tank. Please tell me this is it. Oh, it is. Ultra capacity. Beautiful. Where are you? Ultra, ca ultra capacity? We can make that. Super easily. Missing. Have we gotten all of our stuff from down here? Um, aquarium module? Nope. That came from up top. Propulsion cannon? I don't think we have that just yet. I don't even know where I got that from. But nope. We got, apparently, we've scanned everything else over here. At least that we've seen so far. All right, let's go back to the temporary base. Our ultra capacity bait uh, tank. 
get some lithium on the way just in case we don't have any. I know we got some last time, but I don't know if we got enough. And then we head east. We hit the Beacon 3, and then we head east. Because that is where we found our jellyfish garden thing. Is that an actual Leviathan? No, it's just one of them. It's one of the whales. Weird that the ultra capacity is cheaper to make than the high capacity. There it is. Got turned around there for a second. I believe we found the aquarium in these twisty bridges area. But we don't really need the aquarium, we need the sleeper in the fabrication. They could be around here as well. For the future references, we have three nickel. Stuff prep for that. Um, beacon three. First food. to be one super hot blade.
pack. Fiber mesh. A health station in this one, is it? Is there? Maybe they thought it was too easy. Or just not useful. Right. Beacon 3. Head on over. So the jellyfish should not be outside of the range of the current depth module, if I'm not mistaken. So they should be at least 300 meters. Maybe, at, well, at maximum 300 meters. I'll go check that place out there. I won't remember where this is, but we'll, we'll probably stumble across it again later. Could be, well, let's say maximum of 400 meters because yeah, we might have to swim down a little bit to get it. That should be below 200. Tell me you are something important. I'll have the sleeper module. Beautiful. Three of them. Probably in this area right here. Is that just grass? Yeah, that's just grass. That right next to a exploding pot. One more. See if we can get lucky. It's a whale. Okay. Come on, just one more. You know you want to give it to me. If I go down too far, I'll exit out of the area. That might be it right there. Nope, that's not it. It's a docking. Which is also something I need. But I already have. Storage would be better than sleeping. And fabrication better than storage. Start making our way back up. Let's just drive down here. It's within the 300 meter range. Got all 
three. That's sneezing. You are one of the things we came here for. This is where the processing unit comes from. Jukebox disk if we can get it. Yeah. I believe this is where the parallel processing unit comes from. If I remember correctly. Or is that? Oh, let's get some oxygen first. Go around like that. I think that's all. Because that is a small area, so. Yeah, that's all. Three is our an active volcano detected nearby. Defense system. Aquarium. Aquarium. Neither particularly useful. That a leviathan or just a giant shark? I think it's just a giant shark at the moment. Is this the active volcano? Using the defensive measure. Why didn't it go? Sure, I equipped it. So that's Leviathan for this game. Oh. 
Okay, you have to select it and then click. That makes more sense. Alright, we'll go drag it out against the Leviathan. See if we can get those diamonds. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. That's just cheating, man. Get out of here with that nonsense. Come. Yeah, come on. Warning. Maximum death reached. Hull damage imminent. Do I have to wait until after he hits me? Give it a try. Hey, there it is. Okay. Well, we're getting a lot of um, diamonds. Rubies and copper. What is that? Alien tech? Keeping it from erupting? Almost positive. Diamond. Lots and lots of diamonds. We're not going to need this many. Just a slight feeling. I'm going to get two more things. There you are. I right, a diamond. Continue going east. You just gonna follow me? Gonna lead the way? You. It's a sheer drop. And we are getting near our limit. This is sheer drop going into the edge of the world, or...?
save right there just in case. At the edge of the world. Four hundred meters down. I think that's the edge. So it's not to the east. At least not at this part of the east. Said south. Let's sort of circle. Make it back to the last known location of the pilot. For you. There's the course note. Not very important. I'm on jellyfish. Hey, well. I like these guys. They look cool. We are still at the edge of the world. I could be wrong, of course. You might just have to go like 600 meters down in order to get him. Seems wrong, though. So. Is the location? It's right over there. Of us. Might actually be. You are something. Two of somethings. What something are you? Aquarian. something are you? Aquarium. Can I get too far from us? Or from Greg? Just in case a Leviathan pops up. defense. And we are back here. go in here, get our quick parallel schematic. I think we need two more altogether. Hopefully this place has at least two. I know there will be one in here. Could 
be just about here. Yeah. You and him, you. Reactor rods. That is empty. I don't need that again. I think we'll need a propulsion cannon for that. free one. I think I'll use it for our depth module. The suit can wait. Some oxygen, real quick. Well, since we're here, cut the door open, then go get some oxygen. So we don't in end up using more of the uh, refill than we need to. wiring kit. Would have been nice if I went back and stored some things. I want to say to keep the habitat builder there, but that's good for emergency uh, base in case we're too deep and we need to do something. We haven't really ever used the mineral detector, except for the first time. So that could probably stay behind. For now, we will drop you titaniums. are more important. Alien containment. My instincts are never wrong. <laughs> Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more sold transgov credits in their uniform pockets. 
He'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Quick filtration machine. Never used that in the first one, and probably won't in this one now that we have the filtration suit. I guess the suit will be replaced when we get to the reinforced suit. That. We'll drink that. Pick that back up. Those there. Will you refill? Maybe you refill. than some random bits of titanium seemingly nowhere. That isn't where I came in, right? I don't believe so. That's nothing. Landed safely, despite my apprehension. Diana, damned adrenaline junkie, took one of her defining risks and paid off. Why hire me as the maintenance engineering officer if you aren't going to listen to their advice? <laughs> ah, Papa. I didn't go to school for eight years and get three degrees for nothing. I tried to convince Diana that we don't need to stop for repairs. That's what the drift drive and the secondary propulsion system are for. Just a bit slower, but... She's in charge, not me. On the plus side, I get to work with Yasmin. I didn't know she was such a busybody. She's been going around the whole ship giving folks a hand. I think she was getting on Diana's nerves, so she assigned Yasmin to me. She's helping me inspect and repair the thruster systems. I thought I was the most mechanically inclined person on the ship, but I think she has me beat. She can definitely teach me a thing or two. As as long as I don't get too distracted by her smile. <sighs> She's got the best smile. We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans, and we were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the frickin' history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited, naturally, and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. I mean, half my team. They got ripped to shreds by... something. They died screaming. Alone in the cold, dark waters. I, I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. I, I refuse. Some of the animals on this planet, they look sick, too. Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio-patent payoffs would be worth it. But those families will never see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. Okay. Soul should pay me more to lead these missions. I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury 2 was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. 
I don't know any weapon system with that level of capability. The power source to get that kind of range must be, well, otherworldly. We got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. The refraction of the beam across the atmosphere? Ryan's belt. It looked like the Northern Lights. Such power. I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. I managed a slight evasive maneuver, and I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. This is not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Ah, but what the hell. I still got it. Even if it was luck. Hopefully, whatever didn't want us on the planet doesn't mind when we leave. Okay, I think we're almost done with this part. Nothing. Not finally. We can grow some crops. Need more. Did we get the full suit today? There. Um, should we listen to this? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Let's continue searching this while we do that. Every single link was dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture, <laughs> which means civilization, and civilization means <laughs> dun, 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 language. Oh, man. And now, most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug in Diana's ear about going to the surface. Or now I just need to build the test override module. Then I can disable that satellite tower. Well, that got interrupted. Reactor rod. How many reactor rods do we got? We have two. We can get four. Um... Drop those. Is that used? Yeah, that's used. Okay. Nuclear waste disposal, we need this. And we also need to get going. Depleted. Alright, let's pick that one up again. Okay. Well, we've almost been here for now. So I think we will end it here. So thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day. See you next time.